So an interesting question I've had since looking into the M1 MacBook Pro is, can you game on it? And while the answer to that may be a complicated one, it's one I feel like we need answered given all the hype around this eight core GPU. Let's find out, shall we? Roll the intro. All right, before we get started, my model has 256 gigs of internal storage, which by the way, is not ideal for gaming, especially these days, and eight gigs of RAM. Many of you are probably already screaming, Tyler, it's not a gaming laptop, so obviously it's not going to perform like one. And to that I say, yes, you are correct. I know, trust me. But this is less of a should you and more of a can you kind of video. That being said, I think it's still interesting to test regardless if it's going to be a normal use case for most people or not. Hopefully not, or else I have a lot more questions. Historically, as many of you know, Macs have not been sought after for gaming, and that's still the case today, as support for Mac OS on many titles is uh, a little lacking to say the least, but nonetheless, I decided to test games I would consider to be more acceptable for a system like this, which is why I chose League of Legends and World of Warcraft. Even though these games aren't the most graphically demanding, I think these are games that most people would be willing to play on a less powerful system. If you wanna know a bit more about M1 specifically, I highly recommend you check out my previous video where I give an overview of M1 and why I'm even testing this machine in the first place. Still not an Apple guy though, I swear. So onto the testing then. First up is League of Legends. Downloading and installing the game was a breeze using Riot Games Mac installer and it booted up without any issues. The settings I'm using for testing are the medium to low preset within the game at full resolution, which is 2560 by 1600. As you can see, while I'm feeding my ass off as Orin and Aram, I'm getting a very playable 75 to 100 frames per second at pretty much any given time. Not competitive performance, but definitely playable. Personally, after playing League of Legends for over five years, getting 60 to 100 FPS is what I would consider to be a comfortable, would be comfortable at least as long as you're not sweating it out in ranked solo queue. All right, on to the second test, World of Warcraft. Same thing, download install process was a breeze since the Battle.net client also supports Mac OS. The game booted up without any issue. Yeah, I'm level 60 already. I know, weird flex, but okay. So for this game, we are running the recommended settings, which is a five. And as you can see, it's a mix of high and medium settings, all of this at the full 2560 by 1600 resolution. And as expected, the game is running at about 30 to 60 FPS. And if we drop the setting down to a one, we get about 60 FPS consistently, which I think will be preferable for most players, but 30 to 45 is still doable depending on what activities you're doing. However, I wouldn't recommend it on raid night because your guild members may have some thoughts on it. That being said, I've been playing WoW on and off for the better part of 10 years now. So I think this is acceptable if you need to hop on for a bit while away from your main computer, but most likely will not be your go-to system to play on unless it's your only system to play on. So I guess the answer to can you game on it is a complicated and half-baked, yeah. The M1 MacBook Pro can game much like many other systems in its class. While more graphically demanding titles like Shadow of the Tomb Raider will run, as Apple showed us, I highly doubt you would have a good enough experience to, to want to actually play it on the MacBook. But let's be honest, if you own games like that, you didn't buy them to play them on your MacBook. So we'll just leave it at that. As far as less demanding games go, I would say you could totally play League of League or WoW on this MacBook, even though I wouldn't recommend it, especially if gaming is a priority to you. However, if you're a creative professional or otherwise and wondering if it's even worth trying, then yeah, you probably won't be competing on this thing, but if you wanna jump into a quick ARAM match on League or do a few dailies in WoW after a long day of work, then you can totally do that and it wouldn't even be a half bad experience. Well, assuming all your peripherals are wireless or you have a dock handy, plug in your favorite mouse, keyboard and headset or controller, since this model only has two USB-C ports and a headphone jack. Not to mention all the additional apps and software you may need uh, if you're running add-ons, mods, etc., Real gamers know what I'm talking about. Comfort aside though, the MacBook Pro with M1 is a capable gaming machine, so long as you play the right games. You aren't going to get the best experience by any means, but in a pinch, it's totally doable despite all the hoops involved to make it happen. Remember, not only is gaming on Mac OS already not ideal, you're also running off built-in graphics, which we all know is a less than optimal experience when it comes to gaming. Needless to say, I won't be gaming on my MacBook anytime soon, and that's okay. In the end, the M1 MacBook Pro is definitely not built to be a game machine, but as we've seen today, it is possible and in some cases acceptable, depending on what game you choose to play, though I wouldn't recommend this laptop for gaming if that's something you're into. However, I feel as though as someone who games regularly, it was important to not only ask the question, but also to put it to the test. 
I'm not surprised nor incredibly impressed by the results, but then again, this is a MacBook with a built-in GPU we're talking about. So despite the fact that the M1 chip is incredible in pretty much all regards, the GPU is just fine, in my opinion. It's not gonna blow you away like a dedicated GPU might, but it will certainly get the job done, even if the job is gaming. Whether or not the experience is worth it, well, I'll let you decide. That's gonna be it for me. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. What do you think about gaming on a MacBook or Mac OS? Did this video frustrate you? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're a gamer, let me know what games you're playing. I'm interested to see who's watching my videos. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. Big flex. <sighs> He's cracked. One shot. Nice. Whew. I'm not playing any games right now. This controller is not even plugged in. The headset's plugged in though. Gaming on MacBook. I, I don't recommend it. But you can do it. <laughs>